the stories for all my books come really from combination fiction and reality, more fiction than reality, but because of my background in criminal behavior psychology, every time I start thinking about a plot for a new book, um, my mind simply can't help but call upon all these memories I have from cases I worked on, crime scenes I attended, people I talked to, and my mind gets all those ideas and distorts it completely, and that's how the plots come about. Um, the detective in my novels called Robert Hunter is actually an ex-criminal behavior psychologist as well, but he wasn't satisfied only in study the minds of criminals. He actually wanted to catch them, and to do so, he joined the Robbery Homicide Division for the Los Angeles Police Department. The Death Sculpture is my fourth book featuring Detective Robert Hunter, and he's actually chasing a serial killer who kills his victims in the most gruesome manner um, Hunter has ever seen. But what really shocks him is the calling card the killer leaves behind. And in order for Hunter to catch him, he has to figure out what these calling cards mean, and it's basically a riddle within a riddle. Um, and that's how he needs to catch him. The next book that is being released in August um, basically sees Hunter after a new serial killer who is extremely sick, but it plays with the, the crazy reality TV shows that we have today. Everything on television is about reality TV and people voting. Um, so he, the killer actually uses that, that kind of things to, to create his murders, which is something Hunter has never seen before. This book is going to be coming out in, in, in August, and I hope you guys like it.